am going to show you a highly useful and inexpensive testing device that can be used to identify electric fields and electromagnetic radiation. A device like this is ideal for people that are concerned about long-term exposure to electric fields and electromagnetic radiation, or if you'd like to easily identify live AC mains wiring. With this device, you can also trace the path of Romex wiring within walls, or you can scan a piece of electrical PVC pipe to see if the wiring in that pipe is live. As usual, a link has been placed in the video description area, along with a money-saving coupon code. This tester is made by Mustool, the same company which makes the highly popular digital multimeter that you see me using on my channel for performing certain tests. Now let's take a closer look at the unit. Here's some specifications on the back. Let me open it up, take out all the contents, and we'll take a closer look at the device. Okay, inside the box you have the unit along with the instruction manual. And I can say the instruction manual was written pretty well considering a lot of the manuals that I've read from China over the years were not exactly written too well, but this one is very understandable. The display is an LCD display. Here's a look at the entire unit. You sense it with the front right there, and it uses three AAA batteries. Let's power it up. Okay, beeping as expected. I'm going to push this button once and hold it. Now it's on the silent mode. You're only going to have a visual indication. The LED will not flash when the reading is below the safe limit. Over here it says safe for the electromagnetic and over here is where it says harmful because it's very high. If it was safe, it would say safe right here. You can see the little arrows, it's a graph. It gets higher and higher and higher the higher the reading gets. The electric field is measured in volts per meter and the bottom is in micro tesla. Extremely simple to use. There's your battery strength right here. Batteries are fully charged. The alarm will trigger when it goes higher than 0.4 micro tesla or 40 volts per meter. The unit also has a backlight. Just push the power button. It's on. Very hard to see because of the light and it's off, but it will automatically go off if no keys are pressed within a certain time frame. Now let me give you a couple of demonstrations to show you how well this works. Now first I'd like to show you what an excellent AC voltage sensor this unit is. Right now you can see there's nothing going on over here. I'm going to turn on the switch. Turn it off. Turn it on. You can see it's detecting it at least two and a half inches away. Now here's another test just to show you how extremely sensitive the device is. Keep in mind that top reading is electric fields. That's the one that's looking for the AC voltage in the wire. So that's the one you want to watch. The higher the number, the closer you are to the field. The lower the number, the further away you are. The bottom number measures electromagnetic fields. You don't have to be concerned about that if you're looking for the AC line, but it will tell you if there's more current flowing through a line or less. Higher current flow through a wire will give you a higher electromagnetic reading, and lower current flowing through the wire will make that reading lower. Keep in mind the alarm may sound because there are other devices very close by in this kitchen that are going to cause the electromagnetic reading to be elevated, but just keep an eye on the electric field reading at the very top. Right there is where the alarm would sound if this bottom reading was not over 0.4. So it's detecting the wire. It's detecting that wire right about there, around 40.
and here's a PVC pipe. Right there, it detected the wires inside. If you're concerned about constant exposure to electric or electromagnetic fields, then the one place you're going to want to check is where you spend several hours every night, your bed. You're going to take the device, power it on, and let me put the backlight on. Then you're going to move all around the area where you sleep, and you want to make sure that there's no high level of electromagnetic fields or electric fields. If you notice after doing this test that the values are high, you may want to consider relocating your bed to a different wall in the room where the radiation level is much lower. Some people may be concerned about living too close to high tension power lines. Right here I stopped on the side of the road. I'm roughly 100 feet away from high tension power lines. Now I'm going to go to the other side of the road, stand very close to the power lines, and show you the readings again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.